to make an alarm clock for my chanku and for that I printed out uh, a piece of a uh, clock uh, and you can find uh, the link for the printouts down here in the text box. Uh, I printed that out on a piece of uh, thicker paper um, and cut it out. And now I'm going to take some opaque white and I have some sky blue and I'm going to mix these two colors into one. I have this cutter and it's have almost the same size as my clock or paper thing so I'm going to use this one. Put that aside. And I rolled out my clay in my biggest setting and I'm going to uh, stack it in the thickness I like my clock to have. And I use the cutter and I just push it through my clay And there we go. I have the first part of my alarm clock. But I'm going to make some detail. This is the back side of my alarm clock. And I'm going to make a few details here to make it look real. Or at least more real. Realistic. And this is up to you if you like to make these details or not. I'm just putting in some random uh, marks in the clay here. And I'm going to cut out a small bow or what you call it. a B-shaped thing and I'm just squeezing it a bit on both sides to make it look even and cute and I'm going to pick it up here and I'm going to place it on the back side of my alarm clock This will be an old-fashioned alarm clock. And here you have the back side of your alarm clock. I picked this part <coughs> and I cut this uh, and I cut this piece so it fits a little better. And I'm going to decide that this piece is being uh, down to the table. So I need to, to put the clock plate on so it fits. And I'm actually going to take my baking bond and put a bit of it on the flat side and just squeeze it a bit out. And then I'm going to take this piece of uh, paper and I'm going to turn it the way I want it to be or the way that's up is going up on the clock here so it is lying the right way here according to my back side then I'm going to take some more clay and I wrote this out in a oh let's see in a setting three and I'm going to cut it so that it can be placed around around my clock, but that it is going to be a bit uh, wider uh, than my first piece here. And I'm going to put bacon bond uh, 
focus. And I'm going to put bacon bond around the edge of my clock. Like that. To make this strip um, hold on to it. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to start from the bottom of my clock. That's here. And I'm going to place it so that it is uh, lying over the edge on both sides on my clock. And I am rolling it around. Making sure that it won't overlap in the top or oh, the bottom of the clock. And smoothing out the connection here between the parts. Then I take some gray clay. And I'm going uh, to roll it out. And I'm going to make a tiny leg for the clock. And I'm going to make one more. Because I need two. And I want them to be the same size, or length, whatever you call this. Like that. And then I take my clay and I put it through my pasta machine in one of my smaller settings. I put it through a 7 and I'm actually going to bend it like that. Oh, you can't see that, sorry. Bending it like that. And I'm going to cut a small triangle from the bend and out. And that's the piece I need. So I'm going to take my clock and I find the bottom of it. The 12 is here, so it's right down there. And I'm going to take this triangle, if it wants to play with me. And I'm going to put it right at the bottom of my clock, <clears throat> like this. And I'm going to take one leg and I'm going to put it on and do the same with the other leg. Putting it on. Right after I baked my uh, clock, I put uh, in the needle in the top of it, just a work tool needle to make a hole. You could have made the hole before, but I forgot, so I just did it while the clay was hot. Um, so now our clock will place like this. So I take uh, a little more of my blue clay. I take a little more of my blue clay and I make a ball for the clock piece. You could make it a bit bigger than this one, but I kind of like this size. So I'm going to bake this and just before, um, I'm going to bake this and just right after I bake it, I'm going to cut it into two halves. Uh, so I'm going to put that aside for now. I rolled out a bit of my uh, gray, I rolled out uh, my gray I rolled out my grey coloured clay um, and I'm going to make two tiny pieces of a uh, tube or what you will call this, like that. And I take a tiny piece of a ping bond and I put that on my clock. I hope you can see what I'm doing next to my tiny hole. I'm going to take one of these small 
tubes and I'm going to place it on my clock. And I'm gonna do that on the other side of my hole. And place the other tube, or what you will call it. Like that. Then I take a piece of wire. Uh, this is an eye pen. Focus. And then I take a small piece of eye. Uh, then I take a small eye. Then I take a small eye pen, and I take a tiny piece of clay, and I'm going to put that on my eye pen and shape it into a small ball looking thing and because I do it over the eye it will be sticking to the eye pin without problems um, so I'm shaping it and because it's an eye pin, it will be sticking to it without any problems. And I'm going to bake this piece also. Um, and I'm going to bake my clock also. But first I'm going to take a piece of uh, plastic paper. I'm going to put my clock on it and I'm going to make somehow uh, draw an outline around my clock so I can cut this piece out. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. Like this, I have it here, and it should fit. It fits okay. Uh, and you're not going to put that piece into the oven because this would melt. So don't do that. Um, but I'm going to make a ring that fits over my clock to the height of the plastic piece later. And for that, I'm rolling up my clay into a thin snake. And I'm going to form or shape a circle that fits around, matching my clock on the size. I use this one to cut out the size of my clock, so I'm going to use this to shape uh, the outline of my clock thing. So I let this part go all the way around my carter and I'm going to blend in the ends I'm going to squeeze it a bit 
around the cutter. Oops. This way I know it will fit my clock. And I'm going to bake this part as well. I baked the parts and I cut my uh, small ball in half. And I'm going to take, um, I'm going to remove these. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take a tiny piece of my gray colored clay. Um, actually, I'm going to take two of those. I need two. Two small pieces of clay. I'm going to roll a ball of these and I take some of my baking bond and I put a tiny bit of baking bond on the top of the half around uh, thing and I'm going to put my tiny ball on there. I'm going to do the same on this one and bake it. You could glue these on, but I prefer doing it this way. So I'm going to bake these two and then I will be right back. I have all the parts I need for my alarm clock on um, my little plastic disc. Uh, and I could glue it together like this. But I like to make all the grey parts um, silver, so I'm going to take my uh, Warhammer paint in silver and I'm going to carefully paint the small grey parts on all my pieces. And I'm going to do that and then I'm going to let them dry and I will be back to show you how to uh, collect it all. All my parts have uh, been painted so they are silver now instead of grey. Um, and I'm starting with this piece and I'm going to cut it down because it's not supposed to be that long. So I'm going to cut it. So I have it in a smaller size and I'm going to make sure I can put it into my hole here. If it's perfect and I'm just going to put it into a tiny bit of glue here before I place it for good. So I'm gluing it in the hole. like that and then one of my legs broke off so I'm going to glue that one into place as well. That's a tiny bit annoying. But that's how it is. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue all the way around here. So I can glue on my piece of plastic. All the way around. And I take this little plastic thing I made and I'm going to place it on my glue. I'm going to leave this to dry uh, for 10 minutes and then I will be back and put the rest together. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to glue the outer ring here until my clock. 
So again, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of glue and put it all the way around. And then I take my ring and I glue it on to the alarm clock like this and I take a tiny bit of glue and put it on here on the top of these and I bring these things on there on both sides and that's it your alarm clock is all done and ready so happy crafting Chandelier,